Hey sis, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are doing another foundation review. So we're doing a foundation review on the new NYX Blurring Skin Tint Foundation. This has been a popular foundation as of recently and I definitely had to join the hype and do a review on this foundation. I think I'm a little late, but better late than never. So if you guys are interested in how I achieved this look, my thoughts on this foundation, just a full review on this foundation, then just continue to watch. All right guys, so I already have my brows done. We're gonna start off with priming the skin. I'm gonna go in with my Revlon Colorstay Grip Mattifying Primer. I like to just focus this in my T-zone, so I like to apply it in these four areas on my face. That's just gonna ensure that we are prepped before going in with our foundation. So you guys know me, I usually like to go in with some concealer before going in with foundation, but because this is a foundation review, I wanna see the true properties of this foundation, how it applies, the coverage, all of that. So we're gonna skip the concealing step and just go straight into the foundation. So I'm excited to try it out today. I got mine's in the shade Deep Golden. I did watch some other reviews of other people who may have been my skin type, so I ultimately came down to the shade. I also feel like I should have went up a bit but we're gonna see we're gonna see how it works on my complexion all right so i'm on the nyx website so this foundation retails for 17 dollars canadian i believe it's 14 dollars us dollars i got mine like i told you guys in the shade 19. so what they say this does for you is it instantly smooths and filters your skin with 24 diverse shades it is a medium buildable coverage foundation with a matte blurring finish so you guys know me, I'm an oily skin girl, so matte is good. It feels lightweight and provides 12 hours of hydration. It's also formulated with glycerin, matcha, niacinamide, just for a smooth and filtered finish. So how they say to use it is to use with a foundation brush to buff the product into the skin. You can use a sponge, your hands, whatever tools, but they recommend using a brush. You can layer it as well for a more fuller coverage and they say use a small amount because a little goes a long way which is up my alley because I like using or starting off with a smaller amount and just building my way as I go. So some of the benefits they say is that it instantly blurs pores, it helps with texture and just to smooth out your skin for a flawless finish. So we're gonna see if these claims are true. I'm excited to try it. So we've already primed, I've already let that sit into my skin. So I'm gonna pump some out on the back of my hand. So that's what the shade looks like. All right, so I'm gonna start in this section right here. So this is what the shade looks like, me applying it right on my skin. I actually went in with too much. So we're going to kind of blur that out. This is definitely like a soft matte. I could already feel it. So if you have dry skin, I would highly recommend um, just hydrating your skin first. The coverage is definitely there. You guys saw I had a lot of darkness going on. All right, so this is one layer of the foundation. I tried to just focus the foundation on the perimeter of my face. So in this area, my forehead, I didn't do underneath my eyes, which is why you see like some darkness going on underneath my eyes, but we're gonna go in with some concealer in a bit. So my initial thoughts on this foundation, this is one layer, like I said, um, definitely has the coverage. It is a medium coverage, definitely lightweight. I do feel a bit of dryness, um, but like I said, if you do naturally have dry skin, I definitely recommend really hydrating your skin before you go in with this foundation because it definitely is a mattifying um, powdery, almost powdery finish. I do agree with it being very lightweight on the skin. Um, it does give me a natural finish as well. I do wanna see how it works with the rest of my products. So we're gonna go in with some more NYX products. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Born to Glow Concealer. I'm in the shade Mocha. And I'm gonna use this just to conceal underneath my eyes. 
I'm just gonna blend that out. So to brighten and highlight the skin, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. I'm in the shade Golden Honey. Before I blend this out, I'm just gonna spray my face with my NYX Mist and Set setting spray. I just felt I need some more hydration because it, like I said, this was really drying. So um, just making sure I'm spraying between my makeup application actually helps the product to just blend out a little easier. So far I'm liking how the concealer is meshing with the foundation. It's blending out super easy. I'm not having any difficulty blending it out. So this is how the skin is looking so far. I am going to go in with some cream contour. This is the NYX Wonder Stick. We're just going to add some dimension back to the skin. Okay, so creams are out of the way. So far, everything's been working pretty good together. I'm loving how the skin is looking. So now we're gonna go in with some powder, see how everything sets down and just finishes in general. So I'm gonna go in with my Visanti 400 volt Lotus Brightening Powder. We're just gonna set all of the highlighted areas with this. For bronzer, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour um, wear bronzer. I'm just going to warm back up the skin. Alright, so my base makeup is pretty much done. I'm going to finish up the rest of my makeup and just come back with my final remarks. So I'll be back once everything is complete. Alright y'all, so this is the finishing look. I actually like how all the products work together. I was kind of skeptic about the shade of the foundation, um, but it actually worked out to my liking. It's not far off from my skin tone. I actually feel like I could use the number 20 but the number 19 is not bad at all so my finishing thoughts on this is that it's actually a really good product i only went in with one layer of foundation it's definitely buildable but one layer really gave me that coverage that i personally like um, you guys know that i like a natural finish and that definitely gave me a natural finish the feeling of it is definitely lightweight so it was true to that for sure um, like I said, it is very mattifying, it is blurring, um, so if you do have dry skin, I'm, I'm gonna recommend really hydrating your skin or you may not like this at all. Because me being combination, I already feel that dryness to this foundation, so definitely keep that in mind. Uh, but my overall thoughts on the foundation is it's it's pretty good for a NYX product. Um, you can't go wrong with it. But yeah, I'm going to wear it for a few hours and see how it holds up, how it works with my skin. And I'll come back on camera and just let you guys know how it's holding up and how it looks after a few hours. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Alright y'all, so this is my skin about three hours later. So I'm always oily on my nose. So you guys can see some oil build up on my nose. My T-zone, however, is doing pretty good. So in this area here where I usually do get oily as well, it's not as oily as my nose. Same with my forehead. So the mattifying effect of this foundation is really kicking in. Um, makeup is still looking pretty good after a few hours so that's a good um, a good sign so the only thing that I would say is my nose so I am gonna go in with my NYX mattifying powder 
and just dip it in. It is a white powder and it's just going to just mattify that area. So it does go on translucent. And if I do just want to touch up throughout the day, I just add this and we are back to normal. So yeah, my overall thoughts guys are still the same. I really actually like this foundation. I think I'm going to try the number 20 just to see how the shades counteract or the difference between the two shades. So I'm going to go up one shade. But other than that, I love this foundation. But I will see you guys later.